Hello, Internet! This is Lord Mad Dog, and coming at you with another dev blog. It's been about a month since the last dev update, and what has changed in Axiom's box over that time? Well, an awful, awful, awful lot. First off, we completely redid the world graphics. We added a skybox that does nice and purple. Actually, it would probably be easier if I actually show you why in game because there's a lot of procedurally generated elements here. So it's not always the look when you load up the thing, look when you load up the game. So let's go ahead and start here. We have, as I was saying, the, the, the skybox all there. We also have floating um, broken swords instead of the boxes that used to be there. And we also have floating planets instead of the floating shapes that just used to be there. So if you go back and look at the old stuff, it's a ma massive difference in the actual video, I mean, not video, uh, the graphic look, graphical look. If you look at that, it just that's just stunningly beautiful now because we're getting ready to, to upload on Steam very soon. Uh, and so this is uh, this up here. Now, what else has changed? I added a um, music system. So I have a whole bunch of trigger boxes throughout the world that have different music sets to them. And I have to go ahead and just actually go there, show you music. This is my music graph. And this is, uh, this is all designed so it'll pick up the song where you last left up on the song if you trigger off another one. And also it has combat music and different things. I have two different sets of combat music. So I'll, I'll let you go ahead. Let's go ahead and see if I can find a place to uh, get into combat here real quick. Where is the easiest place to get into combat real quick? Uh, da, da, da. It's actually pretty hard to get in combat because it's... Well, see, yeah, here, here, this will work. I'll just go right here. Do 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 the very first time you hasty you get in the combat here. Uh, uh, and I missed it completely. Well, that was dumb. Well, here, well, it's good the thing to just go ahead and let you hear the actual. This is the main music that you'll be hearing most of the time through the playing game here. Right there, you can hear that. All right. Let's go ahead and give myself a couple levels so I can jump back up here real crazy. Easy. Yeah. And then when you jump like here, it'll change that song to this song here, it'll fade out. Here we go. And I try to match each one of the songs with the area you're in. So yeah, that's a, that one. Yep, let's go ahead and hear this next one. I gotta jump all the way. Oh, also I added cutscenes and voices. So yes, here, we'll go ahead and activate this voice here and it'll fade out the music too. I was going to talk about that next, but yes. Jack! Carla, how did you get here? Nathan bumped into me and I fell. I was sucked through the portal seconds after you. Do you think you can get me out of here? So, yes. Now, all, all, all the dialogue, except for some dialogue to, with the tutorials and whatnot, and uh, 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 Eric, not Eric, Jack speaking to, thinking to himself, are now all voiced. So uh, let's go ahead and show you another example of a quick cut scene here. There you go. Whoa! What? How are I seem to be flying. Well, more like floating. How? I don't know. I started to fall and now I am floating. How come that don't happen for me? How am I supposed to know? Hmm. It must be because this indeed is a trial, and I am the one being tried. There you are. So like that cuts in there. That one needs a little extra work. Oh, here's this is a different music change area. So we hear the music fade and change here to a different one. Oh no no, it wasn't going to change because it's it's all it's playing each. I jump. I went too fast. That's why. Because uh, this one didn't fade out last time, so it's going to finish the song it's currently on before it starts playing the next one. Alright, now let's see. Let's come over here. Here we are. We have a cut, small cutscene here. With, uh, another wayfarer cast into these strange lands. I would be most pleased if you could help free me from this aggravating cage. Uh, there's one I actually missed to actually change, put the uh, put the uh, fade out on it. And I'll do that later. It's not a big deal. It's real easy. In fact, I could do that right now. The fade out on the audio here. 
I'll show you how easy it is. Yeah, there we go. Go edit settings. We go when triggered. We'll throw it in anywhere in here. Let's uh, throw it right here. We'll move everything over a little bit. Fade out. I gotta make sure the actual cut name of it, because it's been about, been about three weeks since I actually did the audio, this one. So I need to figure out exactly the command. Again, I'm pretty sure it's just fade out, but it's always best to look instead of try to get it to work. Uh, music incident, there, fade out cutscene. Okay, yes. So we go back to here. Fade out message, right? message fade oh maybe it wasn't actually a message did i not actually use a message okay well then that place we just have to get ah yep it wasn't a message it was it actually i should have used a message but i didn't here we go i'll just drag it off here out cutscene here we are it's a hard reference it doesn't hurt i really should have made a, a in interface for it though there we go so it doesn't look too bad so that fades out the cutscene and then to fade back in the music we just drag off of here and fade in fade in cutscene and boop we're done let's go ahead and make this a little bit less uh, stringy. There we are. Yep. There we are. Compile, save, and now we'll see that the music will fade out when I just but I have to jigger the music first. Let's go ahead and get this music that I hadn't triggered last time. All right. This will give me an error because you're not supposed to be able to jump right on top of it, like I just did, but it'll work still. This is this area's music, but I, okay. Where is the, yes. Here we go, and you'll see it fade out. Ah, another wayfarer cast into these strange lands. I would be most pleased if you could help free me from this aggravating cage. There we are. So that, and then they each, ha when you free them, they each have their own cutscene too, and they have voice chat. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over here. And I've uh, toyed with a couple different types of cutscenes. One I got, one style I got from, um, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Uh, Tales of the Abyss style. Mister, I don't believe I ever got your name. It's Gideon, master of the black hole and conqueror of worlds. Oh, okay. Mr. Gideon, sir, do you know what this place is? Of course I do. Well, do you think you could tell us? It's the trials of Axiom. Axiom? What is? How do you not know about the Axiom family line? They were the most powerful mages to ever exist. Archland and his wife literally harnessed a sun and created the Trisector. We aren't from around here. Interesting. Travelers from outside the galaxy then. The box is even more powerful than I thought. Let's go. The box, as in the one that brought us here. I don't think he's in the mood for answering any more questions. No, it don't appear so. And I'm not entirely sure setting him free was the right course of action either. All right, so you see there's the cutscene. I think it's a little less cringy than the one down there. Because I won't deny it's a little bit cringy. I, like I said, it's got to get some fixes. And I think the, 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 the voice up on there is actually just a little bit less jarring. So some of those cutscenes I switch back and forth and try to make, uh, you know, try to make it feel a little bit better between the two. Okay, so let's go ahead. And, like this one over here is a cutscene that is right here. This one I didn't get to do the voice either yet. So that, no, I said just gets fine. I sense powerful magic up ahead. Going any farther unarmed would be foolish. Alas, something here is sealing away my powers. You, however, seem to be unhindered. Perhaps if I take some of your essence. 
Interesting. It seems in exchange for a piece of your essence, you have obtained even more of my power. Well, since you are no longer unarmed, you can continue to lead the way. I'd suggest you take out the elementals hiding up ahead from range. But you do you. <laughs> so, there's that little cutscene. Like I said, I try to switch back and forth between the, the, the cutscenes according to what I felt would be less cringy and would be really nice, this feeling. And I like the voice work, it's pretty nice. Okay, so here we are again in our first combat. So, we have two different voice uh, combat musics. Right now we have this music going on in the background. This isn't combat music, this is just the area from Chaos area, that, uh, uh, Gideon's area down there. <clears throat> and uh, it, as you get more and more kills, uh, and enter combat more and more, it changes from dubstep, which I think this is play. I want to hear and see if it plays the dubstep. Play the dubstep? Yes, it's playing the dubstep. <laughs> get back here before I get killed. So you can hear a little bit of dubstep. Ow. This is all by Ross Bug Bug Bugden? Yes, Ross Bugden. He did, uh, he did the music work for this. Okay. And then I have another one. Uh, titled Run by him. So, uh, but that, that'll that trigger when you, as you get farther on in the game. Here, yes, there. This is the, because I've got a decent amount of kills. The more kills you get, the more times you get in battle, uh, the more chance it is that this will play instead of the dubstep. They just killed themselves. Okay, so that's pretty much with the music. Now, what else did I do? Let's go ahead and look. I added an achievement system in stats. We hit C for you to bring up your character. So you see I level a level 15, I got my health. <laughs> that music in the background is a little loud. Let's go ahead and turn that down, options. Uh, controller video. Uh, audio, yes. Music. Apply. That was a little bit too low. Ooh, it looks like I may not have the settings right for this. I may have to go back and fit it. This is why you test stuff. Should actually work, but I'm not sure what the... Uh... I'll have to go ahead and figure out why that did that. Okay. <clears throat> now, as I was saying, I added a stat system. <clears throat> Health, stamina, kills. This is how many kills I have right now. Uh, how many tough fights I've been into, my base damage, damage taken. Obviously, I've done a lot of testing, so I have a lot of uh, damage taken, and I've done, done tons of damage dealt. The highest damage you dealt. Now, normally, <coughs> unless you're at the very end of the game, you're not going to be doing no 1,476 damage a hit. <laughs> I've died six times since testing. Um, jumps, 135 steps taken. You can see this. And then we have down here achievements. Now, I'm gonna add a lot more achievements, but as you get achievements, you get achievement points. And you can do some pretty cool things with achievement points. So, one of my favorite things from old Jack and Daxter games was big head mode. So you can see, you, with, it'll cost one achievement point and you get big head mode. Yes. Okay, you also have, also have jelly body mode. <laughs> so your body's more jelly. Whee, as you run around. These are only cost one each, so after your, your first achievement, you'll be able to act one of them. You can have many of these things almost activated as you want. Fire mode, five achievement points. You can see you have fire aurora. I'm going to add more auroras as well. Okay. Uh, we got cape. We got a cape. Yeah. This is a, one of my favorite things is capes. It's a cape. Yeah. Nice with cloth physics. I spent a decent amount of time to get the cloth physics as good as they can be in Unreal Engine, which cloth physics and Unreal Engine are pretty good already. So, and then I have a different style cape. So, because originally I had the Superman logo on the back just because I thought it was cool. And I thought about making my own logo because uh, I know you can't use that copyright thing. So this one's just cleared. And then I was like, no, it needs this time at some type of logo on the back. So a little bit more, we have the hex cape. So this is the, the theme of the Axioms box style cape. So yeah. And then we have just a whole bunch of different things. Uh, the chest plate, this is kind of like an armor look here. Uh, this is my favorite style armor here. Okay, then we got leggings. We've got hero armor. We've got a crown. We've got a circlet. And you can wear both the crown and the circlet at the same time. And then we also got something that's a little bit of a cheat, but it costs 50 achievement points. 
well, as you see, I don't have enough achievement points right now because I'm using them elsewhere, uh, is HP Rin, so Jijin. So let's go ahead and see, turn off hero armor here. Turn off hero armor, and I get to have enough points now. Yep, 58. So now I have HP Regen. I'm going to add more achievement achievement things that you can use, do. Uh, so let's go ahead and damage myself. Oops, can I damage? Here, damage myself, and you'll see my HP is actually Regen in there. Wow, I killed all the sound in my game somehow. Huh, I'll have to see what, what, how that, why that is. Oh, well, that, that would do that. Huh, that was a weird bug. I have to see uh, why, why in the world that happened. Because I had to come, now let's go to the other thing I did. I added controller support. You can't see right now, but I just picked up my controller and I can swirl around. I have cast my magic. Yeah, like this. Ooh, whoops, gonna kill myself. <laughs> All right. Go up as they fall down. Okay. It, so, um, I like I said, at controller support. Oh yeah, the, the ar ar armor pieces do not go when you use dash, you do, they don't go invisible. So, <laughs> it's a little bit funny. All right, so uh, right here, if I hit hit the start menu, I can bring up the auction menu and I go controller. And you can see here, I can change all these controls, which is a simple thing. And this took me over a week to do, it really did. So if I wanna change sprint to something else, I can change it to something else, see? But I have it all. I spend a lot of time making sure it's pretty really close. Also, another thing I can do, I can change the style. So go ahead and refresh the, the menu. There you go. Resume. Oh, not resume. I wanted to hit options, controller. And now we see it's the Steam, Steam, uh, place, uh, Steam Deck in Xbox 360 style control, controls. So you can see, you can switch. That's one thing I always hated in most games is that uh, you, <laughs> it, depending you, if you had a different type of controller, it didn't have your logo. So I made ahead, went ahead and made sure that it goes because I'm using a PS5 controller, PS4 controller. So this is what this does here. And what else have I done? I've added flying to the game. That's for the next level of the game. It, after you beat Frank, you can fly. And uh, it's really amazing. And I haven't, I'm not going to jump right into the doing the fly, uh, next level quite yet. I actually also added cuts, uh, the beginning opening, the opening cutscene and the end cutscene to my game. And I do believe that is it, but that's an awful lot for a decent amount of time. <laughs> yeah. So my favorite look here, let's see. Let's go big head mode, turn off HP reading. I don't need that. I do like my hard arms off i like the curious line and there i think this this is my favorite look <laughs> you got fire all right you got a big head it's probably a little better without the big head there you go yeah so I'm going to be adding more achievements over time, but it, uh, depending on the achievement, it can take up to an hour to almost two hours to add the achievement. Like these ones, um, these ones right here, they require you to get all the, the fragments you can get before you actually unlock the next skill or ability. And they take a decent amount of time to, uh, to get in because I have to actually test to make sure it works. So I have to do it myself. Now I have a little bit of dev cheats that I can do, but it still takes a decent amount of time to test each one of these uh, uh, these uh, these ones. And these ones will take a little bit less time, but I'm, I'm gonna be, so each one, they're kind of like tiers. I wanna add, I wanna make it, I wanna add enough so that they're all right next to each other instead of spread out like they are now. So probably about 20, probably about 20 total achievements per my game. That's probably what I'm aiming for. Uh, and uh, a couple more fire auras. And there is one really cool uh, out outfit that I also want to add more to, uh, uh, add into the game. Oh yeah, I also added credits. 
so that uh, you can see the end of the game cut, cut, cut credits, cutscenes, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've done for this episode. Uh, this this thing, I will be uh, adding it up on Steam later today, but I don't think I can actually. Get, I might be giving out some beta beta keys here pretty soon to different people. If you're interested in getting a beta key, go ahead and put in the comments and I might get you one. Lord Mad Dog, signing off. <laughs>